shorten our bench a little bit. Um, I take a lot of, I put a lot of blame on myself uh, for, for trying to keep everybody happy. <laughs> and, and you can't do it. So it's nothing against those guys. We just, as a staff, made the decision we were going to shorten the bench so that I have less to confuse me. Um, you know, and, and there's been a lot of stuff going on, and I haven't done a great job, to be honest, of handling it all. So really a big part of that was just trying to remove some of the clutter and, and focus on a group. And I, I give those guys a lot of credit for staying as positive as they did. Shoot change, I was the first one in the locker room fired up. Coach, we had 20 assists. So uh, that, that's, what, that's what we need. That's what we need. We got to remove any individual stuff, minutes, shots, and just play for each other. And our guys did that, and, and you saw the level that we were capable of getting to. Uh, the team only shot 16% on three-pointers tonight. Has there been sort of a general effort to cut down on those this year? Um, you know, we've been shooting pretty good. Maybe we put too much focus on free throws after the other night. So maybe we'll give them equal attention and we'll be where we want to be. Gary, what did you feel like uh, maybe the last couple games you guys have been missing that you had going for you today? It was just uh, being unselfish. You know, get back to what we did in, uh, before conference, you know, sharing the ball. Karen, who, who gets on the board and whatnot, just, just worry about the, the win. And, uh, you know, we utilized that the last the last week. And uh, we just came out tonight, uh, big into everybody, everybody trust yourself, follow each other, and then uh, play the together. And Wayne, how, how big was the uh, transition defense against a team like this? Well, gosh, I don't know, because I know they got an awful lot, uh, but, but it was a much better focus. What we'll learn from it is there's times we got back, but we weren't in a stance, and that's where they attacked us and got to the free throw line. So, but uh, we were screaming it from the sideline almost every possession, and the guys were attentive to it. So uh, that's something that we've got to have every every game now, um, especially you know we're going out on the road now. We've got to have that focus. So uh, again, great response by our guys. Um, the staff might be able to get two hours of sleep tonight after this. But uh, I'm, proud, I'm proud of the staff for, for their dedication and uh, commitment to this group and, and staying positive, and then the players for the way they responded. And uh, again, now we just got to hold them accountable uh, to be this way every day and, and, and every game play with the same fire and the same focus. Uh, well, we, we win and lose. Win and lose as a team. Uh, the second half, I should have done a better job as a coach to, to figure out. Uh, Lineups or what we could have done to uh, uh, stem some of their runs, but uh, we'll get back to what made us good uh, throughout most of the season and, and try to go compete this weekend. Free throw shooting hasn't been fantastic this season. Is that something that you, you know, talked about, and how do you, how do you plan on improving? Oh, that? it was it was poor tonight. Uh, uh, as I said, the, the three games we won uh, prior to this road trip, it was excellent. So our players need to step up, and uh, we practice free throws and. and uh, there's some, some players in our team that are going through an adjustment period, uh, but, but they need to uh, keep working on it. And, and uh, I was very proud of our players from the free throw line to our three-game winning streak here because it, it really helped us, and then tonight it hurt us.